So my good friend from Canada and I were on Discord the other night and we were talking about mice and keyboards. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is I've been after a trackball for quite some time. For the last year, I've been really wanting to invest in one and actually learn how to use it appropriately versus just a regular mouse. And I gotta say, we were talking about mice and he goes, hey, I just got this Elecom huge trackball that's a little bit different. It's got a built-in palm rest. It's got the trackball for your first two fingers. It's got the first mouse button down here for your thumb, front and back here, scroll wheel. It's got the uh, low, medium, high setting for the tracking speed on the ball. It's got a function key over here by the right click, and it's got two other function keys right here, which is freaking cool. So I've been using a death adder for the last 10 years or so, just strictly this mouse. This one's an essential, just a bare bones death adder, and I really like how it feels. My, I used to think my hands were quite big actually, but they're not. I'm medium to large, seven and a half inches, 20, 21 centimeters, you know, from the end of the uh, middle finger to the end of the hand here, about seven and a half, eight inches. And uh, I thought that was decently big because my hand kind of like, I still have to claw a little bit. I can relax a little bit on the death adder, but this is freaking cool. Check this out. So I'm going to say right off the bat, I feel this is like a nine out of 10 and I'll tell you why here in a second, but thumb button, front and back, scroll wheel, which also has some like up and down functionality. The scroll feels good. It feels just like my death adder. There's not really too much of a difference there. It actually feels a little bit more, it's brand new. So it has a little bit more of a, a new feel to it. It's got these little function buttons. It's got a right click and a function over here. It's freaking cool. Like how you can just, no matter where you are on this, it still feels comfortable. And when your arm's supported correctly, like from your chair or support from the desk, you can sit here for hours. It, it feels very zippy. I'm not used to a trackball and this thing, you can fly around, you can turn it around. It is super neat. So let's get the complaints right out of the way. So when I first put my hand on it, I'm like, wow, feels good. But my thumb is very weak. Like it's not used to moving around. Like actually this action here. Like when you think of, you know, like kinking your thumb like this. If you do that right now and do that like maybe 20 times, you're going to feel that tension in your wrist, into your hand. And that's what you have to get used to right off the bat is moving your thumb around this action, pulling it back to hit this. Sure. You could, you know, like position where you don't have to move to extreme, but the standard position on this, I feel palm right there, laying down a little bit and your thumb kind of rests at the very end of the left click of the mouse. Then your two fingers up here and the rest of your hand kind of lays nicely on it. Ergonomically, this feels great. Like it just feels good. So one thing I noticed is that this has a lot of slop in it. The, <laughs> the first mouse button, it moves quite a bit and it feels a little chintzy when you click. Supposedly it's got good gear in it. We'll uh, get you some photos of the box and all that, what they use. That was something that was kind of like, oh man, that feels a little, it's very light, if you will. It's, uh, it's not very heavy at all. It also doesn't click on the back. Not that you'd want to, you know what I mean? You're gripping it and you accidentally like, kind of like hit it with the web of your hand here. It doesn't click until you get about a quarter way into it right there. It will start. It's kind of like a lever, if you will. Scroll feels nice. The clicks feel good too. This feels better. All the buttons second back have like this nice click as you get towards this, uh, like the front and right side, the, or just in general, the front, it, it's a higher pitch click and it's a lot lighter. This is softer. That's like the same switch down here. These buttons, same with this one. This is clickier. And this one feels like the back one here. The, oh, if they all had this button feel the second one, oh, that'd be perfect. I'd love that. There's a little bit of slop here on these as well. I mean, what do you expect? I mean, it's a really affordable mouse, 52 US dollars off Amazon, which I will put a link to that in the travel case. And there's a wireless version, but I went wired because I, um, I barely move out of this. I would, wouldn't take this with me. I'd buy another one that's wireless and take it with me if I travel a lot, but I don't at the moment, but there's a little bit of slop here, which is not bad when your hands resting on it. When your hand is resting, you don't move. It's not like you're, you know, all over the place. You're pretty stationary. As you can see, they're clickier. They're about the same as the first mouse button right here. 
So these are all customizable with the software. The software is actually pretty good. I didn't have a chance. I went through it last night. I was like, wow, there's actually a lot of customization you can do with that. So I was really happy about that. I did the screen recording for my online games. This one's another in-game function for one of the games I play. If they, one thing, if there's a variation, if you guys know about this, please let me know. If there's a variation with more macro keys, like that go around it or maybe extend out to the left, that'd be amazing. If there's more index finger macro keys, I would absolutely, you know, I would rate this 10 out of 10. But the reason why we're doing nine, once again, this feels a little jank, just a little bit. It's not bad. Don't, don't take it for like, oh, well, I'm definitely not buying it. No, no, no. Pretty light, pretty good. All the buttons feel good. And it's just going to take you a little bit to get used to your thumb moving around like that. So a neat thing before we move on is the slider for the trackball sensitivity. Like when you're all the way on high, this little red badge or this little red indicator shows up. When you're all the way on low, you see a little blue indicator. And the nice thing is once you have it plugged in and you switch that around, this will blink when you're on low. This will blink once, medium will blink twice. There's a little red LED deep inside there. And when you're on high, it'll blink three times. So that's a pretty neat little function in the mouse. This is the one thing, the reason why I'm not rating it 10 out of 10. And I was told by my good friend that uh, they make this ceramic 2.5 millimeter bearing for it to replace it. And it's supposed to correct that. So when you're on the high setting here, all the way on high, and you're in a video editor or an audio, digital audio workstation or a DAW, you'll notice the stutter. I'm going to make it on a bigger scale, but when you slide your finger and it does that, you can kind of see how it's, you know, stuttering on the mouse pad. Well, this does this in a very fine scale, very fine. You wouldn't notice it just using it day to day, like browsing the web or, you know, like um, doing code or moving around, moving files. You wouldn't notice that at all. But once you get into really fine video editing, you really notice that it will jump, it will stutter. You can barely see it on camera, but it makes a difference when you're trying to get that really, you know, nanosecond or millisecond edit and it jump keeps jumping back and forth over it. That's the main thing. That is the one thing I noticed besides this having a little play and feeling a little light and cheap. This is the other thing about it. Just that little stutter. So we're going to do a follow up video with those uh, ceramic bearings in it. So I did watch a couple videos on that and it looks like you really have to break the mouse down, take it apart, use some tape to keep things together when you're taking it apart and we're going to do all that and give you my uh, my feedback on that in future videos lastly we're going to go over pushing the ball out most of the weight of this mouse is in the trackball there's a little window underneath you just take it with your index finger or whatever and you push and it will pop right out this actually feels pretty darn good this is most of the weight of the mouse is in the trackball it's pretty darn neat um, over a week of using it or so a little under there's a couple little scratches in the ball, but that's because it tends to get dirty. It kind of reminds me of back in the late 90s when you had your trackball on the bottom of the mouse, how dirty it would get. You, you swear, like a week before, you'd take it, clean it all out, <laughs> use tweezers. And this does the same thing on the little bearings in there. They're really hard to see because they're really tiny, to be honest with you. So they're right there. There's, let's see, one, two, three. Looks like there's three of them. You can see the little tracking lens back in here. So there's only three bearings. So you get 10 in this package right here. So there's quite a bit to replace them. And this was only like six, seven bucks for 10 of them. So all you have to do to get it back into the mouse is firmly press and it will fit back in. And this takes a bit to get out as in like, you're not going to just tip this over. It might, if it lands just right, it might pop out hitting the floor, but it has to hit just right and have a pretty good velocity. <laughs> You'd have to actually smack this on something right here and it, it might pop out, but I'm not going to demonstrate that. So nine out of 10, if we can fix that stutter with the trackball, this thing is a definite 10 out of 10 for the money. Fantastic. I wonder if there's a way you could buy like really stiff buttons for this and replace them. Even though I enjoy linear switches on a keyboard, when it comes to a mouse, I really like some good actuation, upwards of 70 grams or so. But yeah, it feels real good, real light. It's got really nice rubber feet on it, but I've been placing it on my mouse pad because I'm too lazy to just, I, I, I can't give this up yet. Sometimes I find myself getting on a program, I'm like, oh crap, I'm not 
my muscle memory isn't there for it, so I'll jump back to the normal mouse. But I think if this was on a nice, you know, desk, it would grip right in and you wouldn't move it. The hand rest feels really nice. It's quite firm, but it is nice. It's got some good play. I was concerned about this peeling off, but your hand's going to be in a position to where it barely touches it. I was, I was afraid it might get ratty up here, but honestly, once your hand's on it, you're good to go. Like you're not going to be moving too much. You're just going to be moving your thumb and your fingers. I, it's nice too. your little pinky finger. Uh, this is a weird angle. It rests like you can rest it on there quite nicely. Like I find myself using these two fingers a lot and this finger for the right click and the pinky. It's got that nice rest right there. So you can relax your hand. You don't have to worry about doing the claw. I mean, you're going to a little bit with the trackball, but you can relax your hand. It feels great with that built-in armrest. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. If you want to know more about it or see the pricing and all that, at time of shooting this video, August 2021, it was 52 bucks on Amazon. So I'll give you all the links to the ceramics, the cases, the wireless version. That's all going to be in the description. And then we'll do a follow-up video on replacing the bearings. And I'll let you know if that feels any better. So any questions or comments, or if you want to let me know about your experience with a mouse, I'd love to hear it. Also, if they make a mouse like this with more buttons around it, because that would be freaking cool, like having more macros. I would love that. Be amazing. You guys take care, and we'll catch you in the next one.